one very, I think, exciting change in the environment about treating children uh, is in pediatric brainstem glioma, which um, is a very, very difficult disease. These children have uh, highly malignant tumors in their brainstem. So we can't do surgery typically on them. Uh, it's very difficult to control it with radiation, and almost every drug that we've used in the past has been not very successful. And one of the reasons is that there's been a reluctance on the part of many people to get biopsies of the brainstem. Uh, and this has some historical perspectives, but the, the bottom line is, is that without getting tissue and looking at all of this sophisticated biology I talked about before in terms of genomics, proteomics, cell cycles, etc., we're kind of shooting in the dark. And it's a unique disease that doesn't occur in adults. It's unique. So now, recently, there has been an acceptance of the idea that finally we're going to let people take biopsies of children with brainstem tumors because they're uniformly um, unsuccessfully treated. We don't have the information to develop strategies. And I think for the very first time going forward, we're going to have a chance now to use specific therapies, hopefully targeted therapies, that are you know, unique to that patient um, and, and, and hopefully change the outcome. This, this historically is a huge paradigm shift and it's just happened this year. So um, I, I, I think just that one example alone should tell us that we are ready to move with the new technology, with these special diseases in infants and children and to develop unique strategies that never has been done before. Uh, and I, I just envision that things are going to change in a very short period of time.